So following on from the previous video, we were trying to determine if this series will converge or this will diverge. Um, an alternative way of determining this is, is to use the integral test. So with the integral test, we are going to map a continuous function on top of, uh, of our sequence. So, uh, so now, now it's a matter of us evaluating this. So, uh, so we are trying, remember when, when integrating something, I've always asked, asked you in the past to keep an eye out on, on something being the exact derivative of another thing. So, so you see this thing here is near enough the, the exact derivative of this thing here. So when you come to integrate this, it should be quite straightforward. So it's really a matter of you trying to integrate, um, tan of the bubble because this thing here is near enough the exact derivative of this thing. So it really boils down to you. You could use substitution if you want, but learn to spot this. It would be much more, more efficient. So if you're trying to integrate tan of x, remember, tan of x is, is sine of x over cos of x. So if you're trying to integrate sine, tan of x, you're really looking for something, uh, in such a way that when you differentiate it, it will give you this thing here. Um, so if you make this to be your initial guess, absolute uh, cos uh, of x. So now if you try and differentiate this, it will then give you this. It will then give you um, 1 over this thing here, 1 over cos uh, cos uh, of x, but then you've got to turn to the derivative of the bubble itself, which will be, which will be, uh, which will be minus sine of x. So uh, so now you, this gets multiplied to the top. You've got your sine here, sine here, cos here, cos here, and then you've got this one here, uh, this negative one here. So you would go back to your initial guess, make the adjustment. Now if you stick a one in here, uh, a negative one in here, if you come to differentiate it, you will um, you will get rid of this this negative one here. So now so so basically to integrate tan of x, to integrate tan of x, it will be negative natural log. Uh, uh, apps cos x and then plus c. Okay, so so if you integrate tan, it it will it will be this. It will be this. But then here we've got this thing here. So so to integrate this, hang on, bear with me. So to 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 integrate this, um, we we've got a something slightly more complicated than simply tan of x. Uh, we've got this thing here, which is slightly more complicated. So we are trying to to find something. In such a way that when we differentiate it, it will then give us this. Make this to be our, our initial guess. Um, natural log, um, apps, uh, cos, and then 1 over x. Make this to be our, our initial guess. Now, if, um, hang on. If we, um, if we differentiate this, let's differentiate this. If you differentiate this, it will be 1 over this thing here. We should be cos one over x, uh, and then you got to uh, you got to times the derivative of the bubble itself. That would be uh, minus sine uh, one over x, and then you got to you got to times the derivative of this inner bubble here. So that would be uh, that would be negative one over x squared. Now, now here we don't need to go back here and stick a minus in here because you've got minus here and a minus here, so so they, they will cancel each other out. So this thing here really, uh, really become well. This this will take care of this, and then um, and then sine sine of uh, so, so so you've got this thing here sine one over x, and then you've got cos uh, one over x, which will then become tan. 1 over x, which is, which is this thing here. Well, integrate this, use whichever method you want. You could use substitution, but try, well, if you integrate this, it will be, it will be this, plus c, okay? So, so if you integrate this, it will be this thing here. So, hang on. So, integrating this, integrating this, it will then be natural log, uh, absolute, cos 1 over x. But, um, but, uh, uh, we uh, we are moving from one to infinity, and it's never going to be negative. So we uh, we 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 can pretty much ignore this, uh, ignore the absolute sign. Well, if you put a very big number into here, uh, one over a big number, it, this thing here will head towards towards zero. And if you look at cos cos of zero, it is heading it is heading towards one. Uh, so yeah, it is heading towards one. 
Now, so so if, if you put a big number into here, if you put a big number into here, this thing here will then become one. We will, we will approach one, and then now if you natural law one, natural law for one, it will be zero. So so if you put a big number into here, this whole thing here will become zero. Now put a uh, put a one into here, it will be cos of one. Cos of one will be uh, so so this will be uh, pi. Cos of one will be somewhere around here, uh, and then you natural law uh, you you natural so cos of one. Cos of one will be a number less than one. Um, so how? Let, let, let me explain this. So uh, put one into here. It, it will then be cos of one. So cos of one, uh, one would be somewhere around here. Cos of one would be less than less than this value here would be less than one. Now if you now when you natural log this thing here, natural log that thing there. Remember one is here. This thing here is less than one. So um, so. So uh, yeah, this thing here is less than one. So when when you look at natural log of a number that's less than one, remember one is here. Less than one, less than one would be a negative number, and then you've got a negative, and then you've got another negative. This, if you think about it, this block here would be a negative number. Okay, so so um, so a, a negative number, and then you've got a negative number here. So these two really cancel each other out. What the Overall, this thing, overall, the, the, if you think about it, this whole block here will be a positive number. It, will, it won't be a negative number. You've got a negative here, but if you think about it, I, I've explained it badly, but if you really think about it, the whole block here, including this thing here, will be a positive number. Because this block here will be a negative. And then you've got a negative here and a negative here. Overall, it will be a positive. So, going back to here. Um, this thing here, when you integrate it from one to infinity, it will come to a finite number. So, so we, this will converge. Therefore, the thing that we're trying to investigate will also converge. Okay.